In this video, we want to talk about the Berlin Jewish Museum, one of the most visited museums in Germany. Designed by architect Daniel Libeskind, a highly symbolic and complex building that seeks to represent the history and culture of German Jewry. This museum is known for its architectural style, presentation methods, and interaction with its audience. A structure with winding corridors that in each part of them you will discover concepts intended by designers. The Berlin Jewish Museum, however, is an interactive museum, which instead of the classical methods of visiting, is focused on understanding the sense of time and place. Visitors encounter with the space of absence and the stories told through light. So what is an interactive museum? An interactive museum is a type of museum where visitors are encouraged to actively participate in the learning experience, rather than simply observing or reading. Interactive museums often use technology, multimedia displays, and hand-on activities to engage visitors and create an immersive learning environment. The goal of interactive museums is to provide a more engaging and memorable learning experience that encourages curiosity, critical thinking, and creativity. Stay tuned for more in this video. The significance of the museum is mainly related to several main sections in the building. Number one is the building's form. The museum is made up of three main parts. The broker style old building, the postmodern zinc clad new building, and the underground axis of continuity that connects them. The angular and fragmented design of the new building is meant to evoke the shattered history of the Jewish people in Germany. Number two is the void. The most striking feature of museum is the void, a 66-foot high empty space that cuts through the building and serves as a symbolic void in the history of Germany and its Jews. The void is a reminder of the absence of the Jewish population in Germany and represents the trauma of the Holocaust. Israeli artist Menashe Kedishman created installation of 10,000 faces punched out of the steel and distributed on the ground of the memory void, the only empty or voided space of the museum that can be entered. Visitors are invited to walk on the faces and listen to the sound created by the metal sheets as they clang and rattle against one another. Number three is the Garden of Exile. Located outside the museum, the Garden of Exile is a titled field of 49 concrete columns, each representing a year of Jewish exile from Jerusalem. The columns are planted with olive trees, symbolizing hope and peace. And visitors are encouraged to walk through the garden and experience the disorientation and loss of balance that exile can cause. Number four is the Holocaust Tower. A dark and oppressive space located at the end of the axis of continuity. The Holocaust Tower is a stark reminder of the horrors of Holocaust. The tower is intentionally left unheated and unlit, creating a cold and eerie atmosphere that forces visitors to confront the terror and isolation experienced by Holocaust victims. Number 5. The Gallery of the Missing The Gallery of the Missing is a project by the artist Vaya Lewandowski. 
It involves three sound installations under the title Order of the Missing in black mirrored glass showcases. And number six, the exhibitions. The museum features a variety of exhibitions that explore Jewish history and culture in Germany, including the permanent exhibition as Jewish Life in Germany, Past and Present, and temporary exhibitions on topics such as Jewish art and music. Apart from these attractive parts, objects related to the history, customs, and culture of the Jewish people are exhibited so that visitors can fully understand the purpose of the museum along with the intuitive understanding that is evoked in the special atmosphere of the museum.
Overall, the design and artifacts of the Berlin Jewish Museum is a powerful and evocative representation of the Jewish experience in Germany, past and present.